God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. However did God do this? Take sins that we have yet to commit. And all the sins of all the nations, all the sinners. You think as you read through your Bible about the Zidonians and the Amorites and the Hivites and Jebusites and on and on the list goes. Every one of them was a civilization full of sinners, full of sin. And all that sin, you think of the sin of New York tonight, of Chicago, Philadelphia, Tokyo, London, Paris. You think of it. Horrendous. And any one sin would have sunk a world to hell. It was for one sin the angels were cast out of heaven. It was for one sin the door of Eden was slammed behind Adam and Eve. The whole human race collapsed. Every earthquake, every tornado, every, every tsunami is a direct result of the collapse of creation because of one sin. And then you multiply that. Billions of billions of sins. And he was made sin for us. God accounted every sin to the Lord Jesus. Not only the fruit of it, but the root of it. And the Lord Jesus took it all. You know, there are people, and they hold God responsible for this. They say, God knew we were going to sin, and he went ahead anyway. Well, I'll tell you something. There are people who get married all the time knowing that there's risk in getting married. There's risk in love. They have children, and they know there's risk that sometimes children turn against their parents and don't love them back, but they think it's worth the risk. You see, before God ever created the world, before he ever formed a star, before ever a human heart beat, God calculated the cost of having a family. God thought it was worth the risk in order to lavish his love on the human race. And so the Bible tells us the Lord Jesus was slain before the foundation of the world. In other words, before a sinner ever needed a safety net, God already had it stretched out. He had already counted the cost and had declared he was willing to pay the price in full in order to redeem the human race.